So, Mesechad Rosh Hashanah is one that speaks of the New Year's. The cycle of the new lunar calendar, the shofar, and the prayers of Rosh Hashanah. We learn in this Mesechad that there are various judgment upon a person from year to year. One is monetary. So do we find in Mesechad Beta that all of a person's income is fixed each year from Rosh Hashanah and Yom Yom Kippur, except for Shabbat, Yom Tov, and wait, and what you need to teach your one's children, children to work. Rosh Hashanah is the only holiday in which the moon is covered. You can't see it, because it's at the beginning of the month, the moon is covered. Perhaps this can teach us that we can't see what's going on in this upcoming year. We don't know the judgment that's going to be happening. On Rosh Hashanah, we get judged for our actions. Hashem looks into our deeds and opens up the books of all and writes what's going to be. We learn that even when a decree is sealed, there is hope. There is always hope to achieve a mindset of bliss no matter what occurs in your life. The second mission in Pirkei Avot can teach us about how to escape judgment and be sealed for a good one. Shimon the Righteous, Shimon the Tzaddik used to say, there are three, there are three things that the, land, that the world stands for. Ala Torah, Ala Avodah, Vargumut Chasim. The Torah stands in uh, Torah, Avoda, and Chesed. What is Avoda? Avoda, we know, is prayer. As it says in, in Hosea, it says, it says, Neshama Flim Sabatinu. We give oxen, instead we have, instead we have our lips. So we, our prayer is considered our, is considered our, our, our um, sacrifices. It says in the Mishle, Bechesed be'emet yechupar avon. With chesed, and emet, chesed is chesed, and emet is Torah study, a person can be healed, can, can, can be forgiven for all his sins. So we see from here that in Rosh Hashanah, you can be forgiven for your sins. It says in Tehillim, Avti ki yishma Hashem et koli tachnunai. So the Gemara is darshaning on, on page uh, on page Yudzai Namud Aleph. It's darshaning. Don't read I have to give Shema Hashem Kuli. I love that Hashem hears my voice. Do I have Tani? I loved Hashem loved me when He hears my voice. That means that Hashem loves us when He hears our voice when we pray to Him. But there's one. But there's a way to pray which is more effective than others. In in, in Yud Ches Namud Aleph, Rabbi Meir says. If there are two people who were confined to sick beds, two people got sick with the identical illness, or two people were being tried for a court case of capital punishment, there, and, 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 one, and, and one made it out alive, one made it out of the sickness alive, and one died. And one made it out of the, the capital case alive, and the other one got killed. So why? They both prayed for salvation, but only one was answered. Why does this one get answered and this one gets killed? So he says, Rabbi Meir says, because this one prayed a complete prayer meaning he concentrated properly, while the other one didn't. That saved him from getting killed. We see here that a complete prayer, one with concentration, can literally overturn a decree on a person. If a person concentrates as much as he can on, on his filah. That's why the Rambam says that Kavanat alev ketzad, what is Kavanah? Kol tefillah she'ena bechavanah ena tefillah. Any tefillah that's not kavana is not a tefillah. That's why we have to try almost to, to do tefillah. And lastly is Torah. And, and, and Rabbi Yitzhak, uh, uh, last year's Torah. So Rabbi and Abai both descended from, from Eli the Kohen. Eli the Kohen, they said, because they, they misappropriated the, 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 the sacrifices, Hashem said, you're no longer going to, you know, you're going to die, at, you're going to die at a young age, all your descendants. So it says, they're not going to be saved from mincha or sacrifices, but what will they be saved from? With, with Torah study and chesed. Rabbi who studied Torah lived for 40 years. 20 because 20 you're allowed to, you, you don't get judged until you're 20, and 20 because of his Torah learning. Abai engaged in Torah study and Chesed and lived for 60 years. You see God. So we see from here that Torah study, prayer, and Chesed can nullify a decree that was decreed on a person in Rosh Hashanah.